Have you ever been stuck in a situation like this? And your wallet. Nick, give him your wallet. If Crocodile Dundee weren't an Aussie, what would happen? For the few of you legends who are from Australia, you're free to leave. But as for the rest of you, you are left defenseless against a mugging. Introducing the 9mm. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Introducing the box. Having all the power of brass knuckles, pepper spray, and a stun gun, the box is the best self-defense machine out there. Only one issue, it's super expensive. Costing upwards of $20 to produce, the box is also a devastating invention for a broke 15-year-old YouTuber. You see, that's your, that's your cue to, uh, to hit that subscribe button. Did you do it? Oh my God, is that a conveniently placed $20 bill on my back patio? <gasps> I can make videos now. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take that, that, and that. Thank you. All right, let's go make a taser. Don't try this at home. Please, I beg you. And that won't be bad. And yes, I'm fully aware of how hypocritical that sounds. Our main component for this taser will be this boost converter. Basically all it does is it will exchange current for voltage. So this one, it will take a three volt input and change it into 400,000 volts, which is not at all right. It'll be close to like 10,000 maximum. So the reason why I tell you this is to show you that if you were to do this at home, which you won't, right? Because you could die, um, but if you do, the input goes there on the red and green side and the output comes through the two red side. But if you put the input through the red and red, then you will get a high current through here, which is bad because current kills. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, all the more reason not to do it at home. So now that we have a proof of concept, it's time to go make a model in CAD and 3D print. All right guys, I just got done with the first print and here it is. Down here, we have the electronics and storage for the 9 volt. I also added some brass knuckle type things. Technically, it's not illegal because they're plastic. So, we're all in the clear for this. Right, and the extra space on the left was for pepper spray. You'll find out what the top compartments were for in just a second. Except, being the pyro that I am, sparky sparks just aren't enough. I wanted to add a flamethrower. So, in a perfect world, this is what the flamethrower would look like. And bang. Pretty good fire. Now instead of the match, let's try it with the taser. Now just for some background info, I had already tried this and it didn't work. So I didn't expect to get my hand lit on fire. <coughs> Foreshadowing. <laughs> oh, it worked. Never mind. Shoot. That worked a little too well. I thought it wouldn't work. Oopsie. Now besides that fact, my parents had already told me no flamethrowers, so I had to scrap that idea. And then it was time to assemble the taser. All the electronics are installed, and now all you really have to do is click this button. <laughs> Works pretty well if you ask me. If you're questioning why you can't always see it, but you can always hear it, go out and take a video with your phone of a thunderstorm. Most likely you won't see all the lightning strikes. Same concept. 30 FPS just isn't fast enough. Now, I have never been shocked by a taser in my life, so naturally, I wanted to try it. Ooh, okay. Can confirm, non-lethal. Unlike Coyote Peterson, I don't feed off of pain. So I'm not just going to stick it up against my skin for 10 seconds for your enjoyment. <laughs> Psych, start the countdown. So being the absolute dummy that I am, I decided to try to measure the voltage of this and 
Let me just show you how that went the first time I did that. So what happened was there was a light coming out of the multimeter, which is not good. Because anytime that there's a light coming out of something that doesn't have a light in it, something has gone horribly wrong. So now I couldn't even tell you whether a 9 volt battery is actually 9 volts or not. That means it's broken! So now I'm questioning whether it would still work isopropyl alcohol versus taser. That's a no. After all that testing, it was time to paint it, so I went ahead and did that. Everything is black. I added some notes on it because I am giving this away to somebody else. And I think it turned out really well. I like it. That's not supposed to happen. Battery. Now that we've tested pretty much everything we can with the taser, let's go and see if the hot sauce works. Deploying hot sauce in three, two, one. <laughs> it's still got on my hand. Pro tip, don't touch your eyes after you've just touched pepper spray. It's a, it's a bad idea. That'll have to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, we're sitting around 440 subscribers. I need to get to a thousand to make money. So help me get there. See ya. The pepper spray got in my mouth. Oh, my face is burning. <laughs> Another pro tip, if that ever happens to you, cold shower.